Hello everyone, my name is Johan Rodrik and uh, today I'm making uh, another video of uh, my painting collection that I have uh, painted uh, through the years and uh, uh, this one is a follow-up video for my uh, last video that I made uh, with, which begins with a chopper painting and uh, here's uh, my uh, bike painting uh, which I mentioned earlier is from the same uh, series of my uh, motorcycle paintings and uh, this one is uh, mixed media painting also the same size uh, 80 by 100 centimeter canvas uh, made with uh, acrylics and uh, some uh, sprays and some airbrushing also and uh, in uh, I made it in uh, 2010 and uh, the, then I was uh, more using uh, uh, using airbrushing which I'm uh, not at the moment uh, using at the moment I'm just using uh, small brushes and uh, working with uh, some small format uh, uh, paintings uh, smaller than A4 actually and uh, I also uh, do drawings and uh, this canvas has been on exhibition for uh, for five years and has been in many of my exhibition including my longest running exhibition which was up for five years and now I took it home and uh, here I found a, a perfect opportunity to make a video about it uh, before I'm uh, going to put it into the storage facility and uh, the next painting is one of my figural paintings I uh, this one is made in uh, 2012 this is fully acrylic painting about the same size as uh, as the last one here I don't have the uh, exact measurements uh, but uh, if you uh, if you are interested in a specific painting then uh, I can give you the exact measurements and uh, everything my contact uh, will be uh, below uh, the video so I would be able to answer all possible questions about uh, the paintings that uh, I uh, may not uh, cover in in the videos and um, this one is uh, one of my desert landscapes which I added my pop art uh, figures uh, on on top and uh, I uh, started uh, about uh, 2010 or something I started doing uh, doing figures and animals in some uh, alternative colors and uh, in 2010 I was uh, making some surrealist and uh, more realist works uh, now I I don't I'm making more like pop art and uh, pop surrealism and uh, something like this uh, and the next one is uh, also my fictional figural painting uh, this was uh, exhibited on my uh, on uh, my exhibition in uh, shooting range which I uh, took home and uh, the, the next one also the next one uh, I called a uh, uh, loose cannon or the cannon fairy but uh, I'll with uh, this one uh, is actually made with the same series of my silhouette shaped uh, window paintings that uh, I make uh, like I am using silhouettes as uh, as a, as window to uh, somewhere else and here I just uh, used a random uh, shaped hole in the painting to uh, make it like uh, in uh, two rooms or something like uh, an outdoor view from uh, from a hole in a wall or something and uh, I have 
this is also a mixed story of uh, of inspiration where I where I took it that this painting actually grew uh, throughout uh, many years I have uh, transformed this painting and added elements to it and uh, it was a simple pop art painting with uh, just a figure at the beginning and later I added uh, added the cracking background uh, like like so here and uh, and uh, at the last I decided to add this uh, this uh, sunny day view into into a beach to it uh, which I painted over acrylic painting with oils later and um, that's also a mixed media artwork of uh, of mine and probably something to do with Amazons or or some sort of a mixed fictional uh, inspiration with with its own story uh, you can make up uh, whatever story you want with it uh, I, I don't have a specific story with it but uh, uh, but if you think it's uh, something to do with Amazons then I may actually agree but it may have something to do and uh, this one my loose cannon painting this one also has transformed throughout uh, many years I started it in uh, 2008 and uh, I painted it uh, in its final shape uh, about in 2012 so this uh, was uh, inspired by my fairy and my angel paintings and uh, uh, this uh, I uh, call a loose cannon because uh, I uh, uh, made a fairy with a uh, fighter plane uh, wings and uh, and jet engines uh, and uh, and uh, also cannons and machine guns on it and it was pretty uh, pretty uh, appropriate for a shooting range uh, exhibition and uh, that's one example of my fictional fairies well fairies uh, actually are fictional characters but uh, this is my uh, surrealist twist on it and uh, I actually had, uh, had uh, painted uh, big uh, bullet holes in the painting uh, which had a view to another room but uh, later I uh, transformed these uh, into uh, these eyes as they are visible here and this is my later edition uh, originally they were the, all the background was actually black and I made it into the sunny day uh, painting uh, later and uh, transformed the bullet holes into eyes and added some uh, flowy paint and uh, and a few giant lips into the flying around there and the next one is also uh, my fictional fairy which is uh, uh, going together with uh, this uh, well not actually they can go separately also but uh, also a, a uh, my fictional fairy with I call this a machine gun fairy and uh, uh, this is uh, the same uh, I used also some uh, fighter plane inspired uh, wings and uh, added machine guns into them and uh, made uh, this kind of uh, fairy out of it and uh, this is uh, one of uh, my only uh, battle scene painting and uh, I also called called it the soldier's muse and uh, it has many has had many titles and uh, many stories to it and uh, but uh, its battlefield uh, subject is the main one and uh, it was actually a beach uh, but uh, I later uh, later drew uh, the the battleground uh, behind there it actually wasn't there it's uh, later uh, drawn on it's actually a mixed media work 
uh, it's painting underneath and uh, drawing on top like uh, all these uh, buildings are made uh, by pencil and also the wings are made uh, by pencils and uh, some uh, color lining and uh, that's how I created it well it's also some sort somehow uh, symbolizes the fighting for your goals in uh, in life and uh, is some sort of an inspirational uh, muse for me and uh, art also contains a, a lot of fighting and uh, getting uh, out there and uh, uh, making uh, some uh, like uh, going uh, out there and uh, getting yourself out there is uh, actually a lot of fighting and this uh, uh, not literal fighting but uh, uh, war fighting is much different but uh, I found some parallels in it and uh, that's how the inspiration for this work uh, uh, came to be and my last painting for today is uh, one of my double image painting uh, with the figure and the portrait the portrait is actually Snoop Dogg and this was also my uh, shooting range uh, exhibition um, uh, shooting range on my shooting range exhibition this work has also grown grown uh, through the years and uh, has been in many different forms and uh, in 2013 uh, it uh, took its uh, final shape uh, which it is at the moment it's also acrylic painting underneath and uh, oil painting on top and here's it in its uh, full size like the figure actually was based on uh, Victoria Silvstedt, a Swedish model and uh, I uh, made it, uh, painted it uh, looking uh, like uh, looking a little different and uh, and uh, then later on I decided to paint, uh, paint Snoop Dogg on it uh, I'm not very sure how I got the inspiration for it, but probably it was uh, from Snoop Dogg music videos. I pretty often happen to listen to Snoop Dogg's music and uh, hip hop and uh, I have actually quite a wide range of uh, music interest and I listen to different kinds of different kinds of music but uh, uh, that may also contribute into my uh, different kind of uh, paintings uh, that I do and uh, different sources of inspiration lead to uh, different kind of works that I, I do uh, the, I'm uh, looking my art uh, artworks uh, like a conglomerate or something like that because uh, I have different styles and uh, different looks in in uh, one one work uh, time to time like uh, some abstract and uh, expressive and uh, pop art and uh, surrealist uh, twists on it and uh, it takes many different forms and and on the links below the video I have some uh, more artworks on my my art bell site and uh, on the links below there are uh, more different artworks and uh, you're welcome to check them out and uh, ask me uh, all the questions you may want to ask so my contact information is below the video also and uh, I hope you enjoyed it and uh, this is it for today thank you and see you next time